the period when the Aryans moved eastwards and settled in the Gangetic Valley is known as the later Vedic period. This period lasted from 1000 BC to 600 BC. The Vedic Age is also referred to as the Epic Age since two great Indian epics, the Ramayana and the Mahabharata were written in this period. Let us learn about the social life of the people in this period. Click each button to learn more. In the early Vedic period, classification of society was based on the profession of the person. Society was classified into four Varnas. In this system, the Brahmins or the priests occupied the highest position. They were followed by the Kshatriyas or the ruling class. The Vaishyas were third in the rung of hierarchy of the Varna system, while the Shudras or the uneducated class that served the other superior classes were at the lowest rung. However, in the later Vedic period, the caste system became rigid as the status of an individual was determined by his birth in a particular caste and not by his profession. For instance, a child born in a Brahmin family was regarded a Brahmin. A person born in another Varna was not allowed to become a Brahmin even if he was well versed with the Vedas. Nor were people allowed to marry into another caste. As a result, this system led to inequality in society. The important unit of the later Vedic society where the joint family system was very common. The senior most male member of the household was the head of the family. While the birth of a son was welcomed, the birth of a girl child was not celebrated as the status of women declined in comparison to the status of women of the early Vedic period. However, women continued to participate in religious ceremonies though their numbers gradually decreased over a period of time. The life of a person was divided into four stages. These stages were known as ashramas. The first stage of life was called the brahmacharya ashrama wherein a child stayed with his guru and received education. Following the Brahmacharya was the Grihastha Ashrama, during which an individual got married and took up his responsibilities as a householder. Vanaprastha was the third stage of life, when a person would give up his worldly life and instead spend his time in meditation and prayer. Sannyasa was the last stage of a person's life when he would detach himself from all worldly ties. He would lead the life of a hermit and spread the principles of religion and truth. Education in the later Vedic period was given utmost importance as it forms the basis of one's life. When a child was seven years of age, he was sent to stay with his guru till he was 25 years old. The purpose was to gain knowledge about practical life. This system was known as the Gurukul system. At the Gurukul, a close personal bond developed between the guru and his students. Knowledge was imparted orally. After the completion of education, students repaid their gurus with Guru Dakshana or fees according to their means. The later Vedic period hence marked an era of caste distinction and traditional practices which form a part of Indian culture even today.